Hi everyone, welcome to my little studio that has taken me about two hours to set up. Anyways, I am here now and I find myself in a really interesting situation like many other people in the world. I am currently in my second week of quarantine. And aside from the work that I do being a teacher, I have found some time to kind of work on things that I never really had the time for when I was always out. One of the things being that I get to organize the files and folders and photos that I have on my phone and also on my computer. I thought that it'd be interesting for me to share with you my process. Anyways, I think that organizing your files is super important because many people rely on technology nowadays and they just dump it into one place. They don't even label it properly or they forget the label and then they're just using the search engine, which is strong, but it's just so much easier to navigate through folders and files if you know where things are. And similarly to what I talk about decluttering your physical space, I think it's just as important to declutter your digital space. So if you find yourself having a lot of time in your hands, spend this time to kind of filter out the things that you might have in your computer. Now, the things that you might need when you are organizing your files, number one is your computer. Computer, your desktop, whatever, a source where you can transfer the files and connect your hard drive. Just an FYI, I don't put any photos, videos, or documents onto my computer unless I am currently working on it. The reason being that I need a lot of space as a designer to use the programs to design. It's really important because if you occupy too much of the space, then your computer will run slowly and it'll just take longer for you to save stuff. So I highly recommend just never having any like photos or videos on your computer, always save it on an external drive. Now I have two different drives that I place my things in. My photos and videos, I place it onto my external drive and then my documents or any projects that I have, I always put it on Google Drive. Google Drive is a great place where you can store all your documents or any, anything you wanna share with other um, people in your that we're working with or with your friends. Anyways, the second thing you need is an external drive. This one I have, um, you need two. Now the one that I have is four terabytes and the reason why I have four terabytes is because I need to put a lot of the photos and videos that I have. This one in particular is for my photos. Now the reason why you wanna have two is because just in case something happens when you move around or like you put a magnet or whatever, I don't know if that's even true, but you drop it and sometimes your files get damaged or the hard drive gets corrupt. So always having a backup is the safest option possible. Possible. So I always have two when I am storing my files. The third thing is optional, but I have um, a labeler. And the reason why I have a labeler is because I need to be able to identify which hard drive is for what. Me liking very things to be very uniform, all my hard drives are black. So imagine me kind of trying, trying to figure out which one is which. So labeling it is great. So this one is just by, this one is just by Dymo. Very easy, I use the white paper letter tag. Next is the source of where your files are coming from. Uh, the photos come from my phone. I like to kind of take pictures of different times to kind of, kind of remember and look back. So anyways, let us get started. The first thing you wanna do is transfer your photos or any documents from the source into the hub, okay? Let us start organizing our files. Now, I'm going to transfer some documents. I'm going to highlight, select some of the images, and then I'm going to transfer it onto my MacBook, MacBook Pro using AirDrop. AirDrop is a great way for you to transfer things quickly from your phone onto your laptop. And it's currently receiving some files. So now that it's received it, I can move on to the next phase. Now I have a couple of files here and it ends up in the download section and I'm just gonna move it on to my 2020 folder. So this is my hard drive and I move everything in there. Now, just to help you understand, 
I organize my folders by year and then if there is a very important like moment which requires a lot of photos that's when I create a new folder like for example I have 700 pictures of my cats and I don't want to sort it through like other events in my life so I have a cats folder and I have one called moments which is like different random moments in time that I've taken pictures of and then I have one called receipts which is screenshots that I take of funny conversations that I have with people or like funny like me catching people doing things and then I just giggle and look back and people saying stupid stuff it's all in the receipts file folder. Maybe I will share with you some later. All right, so we're gonna organize some of the files. And the way I navigate through it is I press the space bar so that I can view the file. Here, I have a picture of my cat. Hello, hello. And I'm gonna highlight it, and I'm going to make sure that, yeah, lots of cat, <laughs> lots of cat videos. So now that I've stopped, I'm going to move those into my cat folder. I'm going to move it there. And then I'm going to move the other stuff into different folders. So here, this is This was actually Kathy's birthday and she was announcing to everybody that she was already engaged. Yeah. Funny. So I want to move that into my moments folder. I'm gonna move, move it here. All right, and then this one was during my friend's wedding. <laughs> He's singing Harana to his wife. And yeah, that's gonna be my moments because they're only about like three photos. Then you're gonna start labeling things after you've completely moved everything, that's what I mean. And what I do is I just highlight everything and then I rename the files. And then the custom format is basically, um, I'm gonna call it moments because those are moments in time. And then I start with the number one. I do moments underscore and then the number. So now that you've properly labeled everything so that it looks very cohesive and in sync. Yeah, and I just keep doing that and I put it into my hard drive and when I'm done, I just close it and make sure you properly eject your files. Um, I move everything back into the trash and then I just eject it properly. You need to eject it properly so that your um, hard drive doesn't get messed up. So that's pretty much it. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating so much. It's hot. I don't have the aircon on because it causes this buzzing sound and I want my sound quality to be good. Hopefully it's good. Anyways, um, that is it for the video. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to try to comment on it. And um, I shall see you next time. Hope you are doing well. Stay safe, stay at home. I just have to thank all the frontliners out there who are fighting for us and making sure that we have a safe space to get out of. So thank you so much and see you next time. Bye.